In this week's Help on the Home Front, we're excited to welcome Joseph, the CEO of White Glove Cleaning Services and a proud veteran. He's sharing how his company is not only committed to meeting your cleaning needs, but also making a meaningful impact by supporting homeless veterans. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning. How are you? I'm here. I'm yes, alive. Yes, you are. That's we're doing what great counts. things. Yeah. So I need to know, why did you start this company? Um, two reasons. One, the uh, traveling circus rejected me, so oh, yeah. um, I wasn't able to do that. Um, but more than anything, I, I, I was, I wanted to be my own boss. Oh, and, yeah. and then that grew into wanting to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. so. That's kind of an interesting too, and to go in that cleaning route as well. Uh, low entry barriers, <laughs> um, doesn't cost a lot to get into it. Um, and I, I really wanted to, after I'd finished my doctorate in management, I wanted to find a way to utilize those skills. Yeah. Um, quickly learned that just because you have a doctorate in management does not mean you have a doctorate in cleaning. Um, that in the military taught me what clean is yeah. to their standards, so I really wanted to apply that um, and kind of change the dynamics of what we see in the cleaning industry, so. Why is it so important for you to help homeless veterans? Um, my game plan that I had set up mm -hmm. for job and living situation when I got out of the military quickly fell through. Mm -hmm. um, so by January of 2012, or sorry, 2013, um, I had found myself homeless um, oh. here in Colorado Springs. Um, if anybody's been out in the cold uh, here in Colorado Springs, they know what that's like. Um, I used to actually sleep underneath the Bijou Bridge right next to Springs Rescue Mission. Gosh, my heart. Um, and what motivated me to kind of change the dynamics of what we do mm -hmm. um, with our company and how we impact our community is I, the only reason why I'm sitting here right now among many variables is that there was another homeless veteran named Raymond um, who unfortunately I have not been able to relocate to thank him. Um, he gave me some advice. He told me about this thing called the GI Bill. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I learned that I can get paid to go to college, yeah. get educated. Um, so I did that and I wrote it all the way through. Oh my and so gosh. now I'm here. Your story is incredible. And then for you to be able to go to school, get your doctorate and now completely have this entire company and really just like kind of put that forward in a positive light. I mean, that's incredible, Joseph. I, um, there's been some external variables aside from myself that have pushed me and motivated me to do that. Um, and it took me a very long time to get to where I'm at now. Um, because with many veterans, um, whether you're homeless or not, um, I, I mean, look, look, for example, at the clients that we take care of that are veterans. Um, mental health is a big struggle for all veterans. We hear about it every day. Um, so what I realized is, hey, you know what? I'm gonna offer extensive discounts to help our veteran families because, you know, the husband might be deployed, yeah. but now we have to take into consideration the strain that that puts on the, the spouse with the kids and still trying to work and get them to school and everything. So we realized, hey, you know what? A clean home really helps the mental health. Um, so that's how we started giving back to not just the veterans themselves, yeah. but the families of those veterans. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's been a, a journey for sure. Well, really quickly, we only have a little bit of time. I want you to talk about the book and other ways that you've been impacting the community through your company. So as I said earlier, um, with the company, we wanted our, our veteran families. Um, and then, like I said, I used to be homeless. So wrapping that all into one, I realized, hey, there's other people out there just like me that are struggling with the same mental health struggles. And us men, we're stubborn. We're yeah. too proud to say that we have issues. Um, so this book, Downrange at Home, um, I wrote this, and, and it's not an elaborate, all-inclusive book. It's just to introduce veterans to topics that they are going through mm -hmm. so that they know that they're not alone and they can get help. Um, and we do like to, uh, organizations like the Wounded Warrior Project, uh, for every service that we provide, yeah. we take 10% of the net profits from that and we will donate it at the end of the year to programs like Wounded Warrior Project and others that are helping our homeless veterans. Um, overall, we just wanna make sure that we're giving back, defying the odds of big corporate America and showing our community what a small business can do. Well, Joseph, I really hope that your story is inspiring to those who might be watching, might be struggling with some of the same things that you were struggling with and kind of seeing how you were able to overturn that and become into this positive light right here in our community. And I just want to thank you so much for all that you've done and congratulate you on the journey that you've taken and where you are right now. 
Uh, White Glove Cleaning Services is ready to clean your home whenever you need. For more information and for estimates, you can check out their website. This week's Help on the Home Front has been sponsored by the Gasper Law Group. Thank you so much.